Hey everyone, welcome back to the third video on this TensorFlow Lite series. If you have not watched my previous video, please go back and watch that video first to get the better understanding on this TensorFlow Lite model. So in our previous video, we saw how to work with a custom image classification where we created our own model by training the model using a teachable machine. In this video, we will see how to classify images from a pre-trained network. A pre-trained model is a saved network that was previously trained on a large data set, typically on a large scale image classification. This model will effectively serve as a generic model of the visual model. To get the pre-trained model, go to tensorflowlite.org or lite.models. Here you see the list of pre-trained models are already available. So instead of training again, you can choose any of these pre-trained models. You can see the list of pre-trained models are available for image classification, object detection, pose estimation and other. There are few models that are available which has already been trained. So we can use this models directly into our application. So let's see how we can do that. So in our application, I want to use an image classification. So let's go and uh, download the image classification package. This is a pretend model which is already available and it was trained on a large data set. So to use this model, just double click to use this model, just click on this download. So once you click the download, it's automatically gets downloaded over here. So and you can see this is a pre-trained model which is consistent for TensorFlow Lite and as well as a text file. So what do you mean by this mobile net? This mobile net is a CNN architecture model for image classification. Besides other models, mobile net is very special model because it it uses very less computation power to run that makes it is a perfect model for the mobile devices it is also been suited for the web browsers as browsers has limitations over computation graphics processing and storage let's build the image classification using the mobile net model so just open your application so in this i already have an assets folder just drag and drop your model over here just double drag and drop this model onto your assets folder okay once you have uh, so once you drop your model, just go to your pubspec.yaml and here I already added the uh, necessary packages so which is image picker, tf light and meta. So if you watch my previous video, you will understand why I added this package over here. So these are mandatory packages and these are necessary packages to use this model. So in the assets, you have to import your model. So this is my model. Okay, just kept your model in your assets folder. So just write down the assets and the name of the text and as well as the tf light model. I just simply copy and paste all the drop txt and say assets this df light okay so once you are uh, done importing this assets over here you can simply save it so it's automatically downloads all the necessary packages next go to your main dot file so here what i have done is if, let me run this application once okay uh, you can see so i have created a sample application where it is having one image which is a uh, this one it's a floating button which is consisting of image gallery so what this function will do so when i tap on this particular button so it will open my image gallery and whatever the image i do select here that particular image will display over here so we will now we will start predicting what can what is this image that is using this tensorflow light model okay this picks the image from my gallery that is the only basic function i have written over here that's uh, for the folding button i have just written a small function which is which picks the image from my gallery and it loads the image this is the only thing i have written here uh, so apart from that i have not done anything let's start predicting the image using a tf light model so to do that to do that first i need to load the model so to load the model so what i need to do is Let's call void init state. Okay, so let's create it. Let's create a model so let's load a model using a small function which is a load model and this is an async so inside the load model just write var and result in let me write the same thing so almost this is similar to our previous video only thing is we are just changing the model apart from this the code remains same Right, tfly dot load model. So in this model, I need to load the model and as well as a label. 
so first let me write a label first inside the labels so inside labels that's assets and I have to load my dot txt over here and as well as a tf light over here dot txt and it comes to the model dot tf light so okay i am done with uh, loading the initial setup of the model and next i want to print this just to find out the result in result end after loading model okay fine so i'm done with this and what i need to do is i need or the, at the time of initiate state i need to call i have to call this model so i'm just calling this model and I'll create one callback. I'm not doing anything, just simply I'm setting the state. So okay, fine. I'm uh, created. Uh, I'm just uh, load, created a load model over here. The next, what I need to do is I need to apply model on the image. So what I need to do is I have loaded my model, and right now I have an image which is inside my picked image. So what I need to do is I need to predict what kind of image it is. To do that, I need to apply the model to my image further let me write a small function over here which is apply model on image the same function if you see my previous video the same i told you right there is no changes in the code the code remains same only thing is i just change the model file and which is in a sync and inside var await tfly dot run model on image so go to the path file dot path it's two Image main, let's take one good seven dot five. Image standard, say one good seven dot five. And after this, let's set the state. So inside set state, so I need to create one list for to store the result and over here. So let me create one list to store the result. So inside the set state, go to result is equals to RS and I want to print the result over here. Okay, so this is I'm done. So next what I need to do is, okay, let's see what is what is predicting is. So what I need to do is I need to go initially we are just loading the model from our init state when the application builds at the time of init state it will load the model next I need to apply the model on the image and see what result it is giving initially so to do that first I need to apply this function apply this model function I need to call from the image picker so this is where I am just loading my image over here so here apply model I have to call this function apply model on image in there I need to call the image from where my image over here so which is inside my temp store right now Otherwise, uh, instead of this one, I already have my image stored inside a picked image. Okay, so this is I'm done. So next, what I need to do is, okay, let's see what is what this predicting is. So what I need to do is, I need to go. initially we are just loading the model from our init state. When the application builds at the time of init state, it will load the model. Next, I need to apply the model on the image and see what result it is giving initially. So to do that. 
first I need to apply this function apply this model function I need to call from the image picker so this is where I am just loading my image over here so here apply model I have to call this function apply model on image in there I need to call the image from where my image over here so which is inside my temp store right now otherwise uh, instead of this one I already have my image stored inside a picked image so let me call the picked image over here image what I am doing is that image I am just passing to the apply model on image so what this will do this will take the image and it will predict what kind of images it means this is applying an image which is applying a model on this particular image so let's see what result it will give okay uh, so okay I want small change this is inside the sets okay fine so now we are done with uh, loading the model and as well as we are done with applying model on the image let's see uh, how, how it's going to predict the image how this model works go again and select the image again and uh, sorry I have not opened my console let me open my console and go to view and uh, open the console so you can see it's predicted as a golden retriever the golden retriever is a kind of a breed it's a dog breed so let's predict one more image go here so I have an ostrich over here so let me select the ostrich you can see it's an ostrich with 99% confidence like 99% it is predicting the other it's an ostrich and let me predict one more image it's a cat you can see it's saying like it's an Egyptian cat with 66% confidence so let's instead of printing in the console let's print this data on our application so to do that let's go here and next to our container and after this container let me write a text over here so in this text so if you remember previously I have commented two lines I haven't commented it let me do that let me uncomment it so this is where I want to store the result the name of the predicted image and as well as the confidence of the total how much how much confidence it is predicted uh, the tool I want to pass over here so here you write name let's go here and after the set state let's predict if you remember if you observe in the console so you can see it is somewhere around like some 0 0.66 let's convert into a proper percentage so to do that let me call here string str is equals to so uh, I stored my data in the result end. So I'll call label. And next, to the name, I'll take my str dot substring of zero. And next, confidence is equals to if the result end not equals to null. The resultant not equals to null so i'll just write uh, some ternary operator here i'll say i'll write result of zero confidence so i'm just multiplying with 100 to substring what substring of 0,2 plus percentage okay then so what I have done is uh, the resultant I just stored inside my uh, now I have to both the values inside name and as well as confidence okay there is no space here so let me give some space before uh, before this text so i'll give some size to box with the height some cutting then okay 
that's all uh, so i have given the proper signs and uh, so let, let now let's predict now okay i want to predict this it is a it's a border collie so border collie is also another kind of breed in the image uh, for dog so which is 93 percent predicted and uh, so let me predict this it is saying desktop computer which is 99 percent and uh, the other one is it's thrown and you predict one more thing which is a cellular telephone which is 98 percent this is how we can uh, predict the images using a pretend model available on the tensorflow site along with the image classification you can choose other models which are already pretend and with this writer code you can get the resultant using this pretend models